In just a moment from now, I will bring you an interview with Vinay Katyar, BJP's Ayodhya poster boy, who embarrassed the party today by saying that the BJP has prettier women campaigners than Priyanka Gandhi. What is very irksome is the fact that no leader of any stature in the BJP has actually come out and condemned Vinay Katyar. Far from taking action against him, throwing him out of the party, pulling him up, no one's said a word. Is silence equal to acceptance of what Vinay Katyar is saying? And if that's not the case, why is nobody speaking up? Before I bring you the interview with Vinay Katyar, here's the day's big story. response to a question on Priyanka Vadra being made a star campaigner for the Congress in UP. The man you heard is a Rajya Sabha MP. But being from the upper house doesn't stop him from launching a low blow. Asked about his logic, he made things worse. <laughs> जो कि वो उनसे ज्यादा वोट भीड़ जुटा सकते हैं स्मृति ईरानी हमारी स्वयं खड़ी हो जाती है तो वो भी भीड़ जुटाती है द टारगेट ऑफ मिस्टर कटियार्स डिरिजन एंड ऑब्जेक्टिफिकेशन दो हैड अ सिंपल स्विफ्ट एंड इफेक्टिव रिप्लाई टू हिज मिसोजिनी अ रिप्लाई दैट फाउंड वाइड स्प्रेड सपोर्ट say anything about against women you can objectify them you can uh, talk about their body you can uh, insult them you can say anything and get away with it but uh, nothing happens after that mahila virodhi bayan hai ye bhajpa ka ek apna bayan nahi hai ye vinay katyar ji ka bayan hai aur unko apne shabd kosh par thoda sa niyantran rakhna chahiye priyanka's husband robert vadra also jumped into the fray seeking a public apology from Katyar while lamenting the regressive mindset of most politicians. The DCW meanwhile has asked for a criminal case to be registered against the MP. We want an FIR to be registered against these two politicians and all those politicians who just wake up and in, for, in the need of cheap publicity make these horrible comments. For a country which has the distinction of having had a woman prime minister that still has women in important decision making positions including central ministries that until just a few months ago had the beautiful coincidence of having a woman CM in each corner of the country. Isn't it a tragedy that women remain for the likes of Mr. Katyar nothing more than pretty faces to draw in a crowd. Your report. India today. नहीं नहीं हमने देखे कुछ ऐसा बयान नहीं दिया जो पत्रकार ने पूछा कि कांग्रेसी लीडर कह रहे हैं कि ये कांग्रेसी लीडरों ने कहा है कि प्रियंका गांधी सुंदर हैं और इसलिए वोट कैचिंग है और इसलिए वोट उनसे प्राप्त करना है तो ये उन्होंने सवाल हमसे पूछा तो मैंने कहा है कि सुंदरता के आधार पर वोट नहीं मिलता है लेकिन सुंदरता के कारण से भी अगर लगता है तो हमारे यहाँ सुंदर भी महिलाओं की कमी नहीं है हमारे स्टार प्रचारक हैं सुंदर सब तो उनको भी हम पेश करेंगे उसमें क्या आपत्ति हो सकती और सुंदर होना कोई किसी का बुराई नहीं है सुंदर होना तो अच्छा है आपको वाकई में ये लगता है विनय कटियार जी कि सुंदर महिला खड़ा करने से एक्स्ट्रा वोट्स मिलते हैं कि सुंदरता एक पैमाना है तय करने का कि वोट किसको पड़ेगा किसको नहीं ये मेरा पैमाना नहीं है ये कांग्रेसियों का पैमाना है इसलिए इसलिए प्रियंका को प्रस्तुत कर रहे हैं ये मेरा पैमाना नहीं है ये गलत ढंग से प्रस्तुत किया जा रहा है प्रियंका गांधी के कैंडिडेटर को, को आप उनकी सुंदरता से जोड़ के क्यों देख रहे हैं प्रियंका गांधी को पेश किया जा रहा है क्योंकि मैं नहीं देख रहा हूं। मानती है कि वो अच्छी पॉलिटिशियन है वो उनके लिए वोट ला सकती हैं उनके सुंदर होने ना होने से हाँ यही जो बात आप कह रहे हो ना कि वोट ला सकती है यही कांग्रेस की तो सोच है की सुंदर होने कारण से वोट ला सकती है 
अभी अभी वो किसी पार्टी की प्राथमिक सदस्य नहीं बनी है वो वोट कहाँ से ला पाएंगी पर विनय कटियार जी मैं वही तो पूछ रहा हूँ ये किसने कहा कि प्रियंका गांधी सुंदर है इसलिए वो वोट लाएंगी प्रियंका गांधी इसलिए भी तो वोट ला सकती है ये, ये, वो अच्छी पॉलिटिशियन है कि उनमें करिश्मा है कि लोगों को वो इंदिरा गांधी की याद दिलाती है नहीं नहीं वो इंदिरा गांधी की याद दिलाती है बा, बाकी क्या किसी को दुर्योधन को याद दिलाती है क्या हा? नहीं पर किस कांग्रेस नेता में आ रहा है नहीं नहीं इंदिरा इंदिरा गांधी को इंदिरा गांधी की याद दिलाती है ये गलत बात है इंदिरा गांधी कौन याद कराएगा कोई सुंदर लड़की इंदिरा गांधी को याद कराएगा नहीं नहीं आप मुझे ये बताइए विनय कटियार जी कि ये किसने कहा कि प्रियंका गांधी सुंदर है इसलिए वो वोट दिलाएंगी ये तो किसी भी कांग्रेस ही ने भी नहीं कहा ये ये प, ये आप आपके पत्रकार जो मित्र आते हैं उन्होंने एक सवाल पूछा मुझसे कि कि कांग्रेसी कह रहे हैं कि इससे वोट कैचिंग है और सुंदर है इस कारण से उनको वोट मिल जाएगा तो मैंने कहा कि भाई सुंदरता में तो कोई बुराई होती नहीं है सुंदर होना तो अच्छी बात है लेकिन सुंदरता के आधार पर वोट अगर प्राप्त करने के जहां तक सवाल है तो यहां भी कोई कमी नहीं है सुंदर तो बहुत जगह है तो सवाल उस पर विवाद खड़ा हो रहा है हमने तो कोई बातें नहीं कही लेकिन सवाल ये उठता है लेकिन अगर इस प्रकार की बात कही जाए जो मेरे मुंह में डाली जाएगी तो ये ठीक नहीं है सर एक बयान आया है प्रियंका गांधी की तरफ से बताइए आपने कमेंट दिया प्रियंका गांधी का खुद का जवाब आया मैं पढ़ के आपको सुनाता हूँ वो कहते हैं कि इंग्लिश में है उनका उनका कमेंट इफ दैट इज ऑल ही सीज इन माय कुलीग्स हुआ ईच स्ट्रॉन्ग ब्रेव एंड ब्यूटीफुल वुमेन दैट हैव बैटल थ्रू ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ हार्डशिप्स टू गेट वे दे आर देन ही मेक्स मी लाफ इवन मोर बिकॉज ही एक्सपोज द बीजेपी इज माइंड सेट टूवर्ड्स द बेटर हाफ ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंडिया प्रियंका गांधी विनय कटियार ये कह रही हैं कि उनको आप पे हंसी आती है वो ये कह रही हैं कि आपका बयान बीजेपी का माइंडसेट झलकाता है महिलाओं की तरफ क्या रिएक्शन है आपका विनय कटियार जी नहीं 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 बिल्कुल नहीं है जो उन्होंने ट्वीट किया है वो वो ठीक नहीं हंसी आती है हमारे ऊपर उनको ये अच्छी बात है हंसती रहे मेरी शुभकामना है उनको वो मेरे पर हंसती रहे उनको अधिकार है हंसने का हम रोने का अधिकार किसी को नहीं देते हैं हंसने का अधिकार सबको देते हैं वो ह, उनको हंसना चाहिए वो ये भी कह रही हैं कि आपके इस है। तरह के बयान से बीजेपी की महिलाओं की तरफ क्या सोच है वो झलक के सामने आती है वो एक्सपोज होती है नहीं नहीं मैंने मैंने बात वही कही कि भाई मैं ये ये मेरे मुंह में बात डाली जा रही है पत्रकार ऐसा पूछ रहे हैं कि ऐसे उनकी सुंदरता के कारण से वोट उनको प्राप्त हो जाएगा ये कांग्रेसी कह रहे हैं विनय कटिया को थोड़ा कह रहे हैं ये पत्रकारों ने हमसे पूछा तो मैंने उसका जवाब दिया कि आप थोड़े से पैनिक में हैं कि प्रियंका गांधी चुनावी मैदान में आ रही है इसलिए काफी परेशान है क्या आपको वाकई में लगता है कि प्रियंका का चुनावी कैंपेन में एंटर करना एक गेम चेंजर है कि उनके आने से कांग्रेस के फॉर्चून जो की काफी ढलान पे है उनमें एक नई ऊर्जा आएगी एक नई स्प्रिंग मिलेगी उनको नहीं 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 कहीं ऊर्जा नहीं आने वाली है सपा और बसपा ये दोनों लोग परास्त होने वाले हैं इसमें इसमें प्रियंका की भी ये इमेज जो है जो वो प्रचार करने जाएंगी वो भी डाउन हो जाएगी अभी तक तो वो अमेठी और रायबरेली में करती थी अब वो पूरे प्रदेश में करेंगे अच्छा है करें हम उनका स्वागत करते हैं उनको करना ही चाहिए इसमें कोई किसी को आपत्ति भी नहीं होनी चाहिए लेकिन लेकिन इसके कारण वोट उनको प्राप्त हो जाएगा वोट में बदल जाएगा ये कहना बिल्कुल ठीक नहीं होगा आ, पूरी तरह से भारतीय जनता पार्टी जीतेगी कांग्रेस और सपा का जो गठबंधन है ये पूरी तरह से साफ हो जाएगा नहीं पर मुझे ये बताइए विनय कटियार जी कि आपका ये बयान आया उससे पहले जेडीयू के वरिष्ठ नेता शरद यादव का बयान आया जिसमें वो कह रहे हैं कि आ, महिला की जो इज्जत है वो वोट से कम इंपॉर्टेंट है कहीं ना कहीं वोट ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है महिला की इज्जत लूट जाए वो कम इंपॉर्टेंट है लोग मतलब लड़के भी लड़कियां भी कह रहे हैं ये किस तरह की सोच है सर आज की तारीख में महिलाओं को उनकी खूबसूरता की खूबसूरता की नजर से देखना ये तो बहुत गलत है आपको तो देखना चाहिए कि वो कर सकती हैं काम नहीं कर सकती कैंपेन अच्छे से कर सकती हैं अपनी पॉलिसी उनकी क्या है अरे भाई विनय कटियार नहीं कह रहे हैं ये तो कांग्रेसी कह रहे हैं उनकी पार्टी अरे एक मुझे कांग्रेसी बताइए ना किसने कहा है कि प्रियंका खूबसूरत है इसलिए वो वोट लाइए किसने कहा है भाई ये 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 जितने पत्रकार आ रहे हैं ये पत्रकार पत्रकार रहे हैं। कर रहे हैं पत्रकार पत्रकार कर रहे हैं आप मुझे बताइए ना एक कांग्रेसी जिसने कहा है कि प्रियंका गांधी खूबसूरत है इसलिए वो वोट लाएगी आप आप डांट क्यों रहे हो आपको नहीं रहा लग रहा है क्या? सवाल पूछ रहा हूँ <laughs> आप सवाल नहीं पूछ रहे हो आप डांट रहे हो
नहीं लग रहा है आपको अच्छा नहीं लग रहा है नहीं मेरे को तो अच्छा नहीं लग रहा मैं वाकई में अच्छा लग रहा क्योंकि कहीं ना कहीं आपने महिलाओं का मॉडिफिकेशन किया है कहीं ना कहीं आपने नहीं, ये सवाल नहीं, किया है कि मैंने कहीं वो वोट लाती है कि नहीं वो इस पर निर्भर करता है कि वो खूबसूरत है क्या है सुंदरता नहीं नहीं सुंदरता सुंदरता अगर भगवान किसी को दे देता है तो अच्छी बात इसमें बुरा क्या है अगर किसी को सुंदरता मिल जाए तो इससे अच्छी बात क्या हो सकती है ऐसा तो नहीं कि ऐसा तो नहीं कि जब से अखिलेश और राहुल गांधी का टाइप हुआ है ये भी चर्चा हुई कि प्रियंका गांधी निकलेंगी डिम्पल यादव के साथ तब से कब तब से जो ऑपोजिशन खेमा है इस केस में मतलब जो बीजेपी खेमा है उसमें थोड़ा कहीं ना कहीं पैनिक है क्योंकि प्रियंका का जो जवाब आया है प्रियंका का जो रिएक्शन आया हम लोगों को उससे तो यही झलक रहा है वो कह रही हैं कि माय कुलीग्स ईच ऑफ होम आर ब्रेव स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड ब्यूटीफुल वुमेन हैव बैटल थ्रू ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ हार्डशिप्स टू गेट वे दे आर वो कह रही हैं कि महिलाएं जो हैं पॉलिटिक्स में उन्होंने कई तरह की पीड़ा सही है अपनी एक जगह बनाने के लिए और उनको केवल और केवल सुंदरता के पैमाने से प्रियंका देखिए देखिए सुनिए प्रियंका जी ने कहीं पीड़ा नहीं सही है ये बिल्कुल गलत है कि उन्होंने पीड़ा कोई सही है हाँ अन्य महिलाएं जब राजनीति में आती हैं बाकी जगह जाती हैं तो मेहनत करके पहुंचती हैं अपनी ताकत के बल पर पहुंचती हैं प्रियंका तो एक परिवार के नाते से आगे बढ़ रही हैं बाकी उनका कोई कोई उनका राजनीतिक स्तर है अभी किसी पार्टी की वो सदस्य भी नहीं है अभी कांग्रेस की भी पार्टी को सदस्य नहीं है Before I begin the newsroom showdown tonight on this sexist shocker from one of the senior most leaders of the BJP, poster boy of the Ram Mandir movement, I want to bring you a bike belt of some of the most sexist comments made by India's netas. Remember, this is not a one-off. This is reflective of a deeply pervasive mindset. इनका जैसी बहुत सी कलाकार हैं हीरोइन हैं बाकी और और खूबसूरत महिलाएं हैं जो कि इस प्रकार का तो वो आ, सब अभियान चला सकती हैं तो आने दीजिए ये बेटी भी जब से भी बहुत की इज्जत बड़ी है में फांसी दी जाएगी तीन लड़के हैं गलती हो जाती है आज मायावती जी आज टिकटों को इस तरह से बिक्री कर रही है Why is the BJP top brass not taking action against the likes of Vinay Kathiar? Does silence equal endorsement? Joining us on the newsroom showdown tonight, Sanju Verma, spokesperson for the BJP. Sanjay Jha represents the Congress Party, and for a neutral perspective, I'm joined by leading lawyer Karuna Nandi. I want to go across to Sanju Verma first. Why, Sanju, is the BJP silent? This is what happened yesterday as well. You know, you had. Kailash Vijay Vargya firing and scooting, no one said a word, and now you've got one of the senior most leaders from Uttar Pradesh making highly objectionable comments, saying that the BJP has prettier campaigners than Priyanka Gandhi, they'd be able to get an equal number of votes. Now, why is the BJP not coming out openly and condemning such grossly crass and misogynistic comments? Hello. Yes, Sanju, I hear you fine. Can you hear me? Yeah, Rahul, I think it's unfair to say that you know the BJP top brass hasn't condemned the statement by Vinay Katyar. Uh, Venkaya Naidu, uh, one of the senior most ministers in the cabinet, has categorically said that people, uh, you know, uh, who are in public office uh, should choose their words carefully and with discretion. Uh, so I don't think that uh, you know uh, people uh, within the party, within the BJP, have given an open carte blanche, uh, as uh, some would like to believe, uh, to Vinay Katyar uh, or people of his ilk and his mindset. That said, I will not even qualify his statement by saying that let us look at the context in which he made this statement or let us try and uh, probe a little further and see what was the uh, query to which he responded and you know ended up uh, exposing his misogynistic mindset. I am not going to be defending him or qualifying his statement. That said, 
What I find most ridiculous and hilarious is the fact that look at Priyanka Gandhi Vadra who says that this exposes the BJP's mindset. Really? What about Tehseen Poonawala who is related to her thanks to Robert Vadra who at 5.47 a.m. on the 24th of February 2016 writes in a tweet, actors will always be actors. She can only do drama. But the fact of the matter is that the HRD ministry does not need drama, it needs intellect. I think that speaks not just about a misogynistic mindset, okay. it speaks about the persecution complex within the rank and file okay, of so the Congress. They're misogynistic and, Rahul, just quickly, and so are you. Point. That's your, cha that's your response. PM. That's your response. Let so you're saying, okay, yes, we've got some Rahul? misogynistic netas. We don't want no, to defend no, them. That's not but they're response. misogynistic as well. That's not that's my response. That's the response. Is that Rahul? the argument? Instead Rahul, of saying we stand for a different Rahul, kind of politics, we will take action against no, Vinay Katyar. We will pull him right. up. We will tell him these comments are not uh, acceptable. Right. You're comparing him with somebody who's a nobody Rahul? in Indian politics, who's not so even officially in the Congress party. How is what Taisin Punawala says got anything to do with how what one of the senior most leaders of the BJP is saying? What kind of an argument is this? This is beyond hilarious. Okay, is so this the I best defense you can Rahul? come up with? Okay, so let me come in. Rahul, let me complete. Tehseen Poonawala is not somebody who is officially in the Congress. What about Sheila Dixit, Dixit, who said that women should not be adventurous? What do you have to say to that? What about Sri Prakash Jaiswal, who said that when the Purani is old, it is not fun. He is a Lok Sabha MP from Uttar Pradesh. Are you saying that he is not senior enough? What about General Secretary Digvijay Singh who says Mirakshi Natarajan is a tanch mall? What about Sanjay Nirupam who said Are aap to thumke lagane wali thi aur aap aaj chunavi vishleshan karne lagi ho in the midst of a TV debate? What do you have to say to Guru okay, of Kamath? Okay, so it's the same who said, argument. We are fearful of misogynistic netas. Our leadership no, is mis misogynistic so and sexist. So is theirs. Sanjay Jha, you know, whatever you say, this is a counter that the BJP will say, okay, Vinay Katyar is sexist and misogynistic, so are so many in the Congress party. is what Digvijay Singh, Sanjay Nirupam and Gurudas Kamath have been blatantly... Rahul, I can't speak until the lady quiets down. She may or may not stop, so please go ahead. Sanjay Nirupam, Digvijay Singh, Shri Prakash Jaiswal, these repeat offenders. Uh, I mean, are can you request her to okay, kindly be us. silent? Sanju, you I had your the one second, one second. I know you're a lawyer, and I know it's difficult for lawyers to complete their argument, but we must really allow others to come in and speak. You've laid the foundation by putting out a very weak argument. I know you're on a bit of a weak ground, but let's listen to what Sanjay Jha has to say from the Congress. No, Rahul, it's not okay. a weak argument. Fade it down, please. It's not a Let weak Sanjay argument. speak. Go yeah. ahead, Sanjay. Rahul, uh, I was here. Uh, Rahul, I was hearing Vinay Katyar trying to rationalize his absolutely, you know, what I call as misogynistic statement today, objectifying women across the board. I think he insulted not just Priyanka Gandhi ji, but I think he insulted women across the board in the country. And I think the larger issue, we all know it's regressive. We all know that this basically reflects a deeper, I would say, an ideological fault line within the RSS and the BJP. And let me tell you that since Sanju Varma has come prepared with a laundry list of statements made by different political leaders, I will give you just two instances which will tell you the problem. The problem finally is if you are embedded with a culture where you see women as second rate to men. No, no. The Prime again, Minister, Sanjay, Mr. Narendra how do you Modi make this? How do you make this an Beti issue larger than Vinay Katyar? She, no, she cited Yamna. examples of Gurudas Kamath, Sanjay Nirupam, Digvijay Singh. So if that's a, if if the Sangh is a, you know, if is in some senses yes. a, a fountainhead of misogyny, so is the Congress Party. What sort of? How are you making this larger? You should demand instead action against Vinay Katyar. You but should question the silence of the BJP leadership. Instead, you're making it seem as if the RSS and yeah, the BJP is full of misogynistic Rahul, 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 She's just given you a laundry list of Congress netas who've made equally obje objectionable and obnoxious comments. Uh, so far, I've spoken for just 20 seconds. I think uh, it's only fair that you give me at least some limited time. I think what I'm saying is pertinent to this discussion. And I will repeat it again for your benefit. Mr. Narendra Modi is India's Prime Minister, right? He's the head of this country. It sends the message out not just to the BJP, but to the men across the country. When Narendra Modi says 
बेटी नहीं बचाओगे तो बहू कहां से लाओगे इट इज अ मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ अ वेरी रिग्रेसिव पेरोकियल माइंड सेट लेट्स नॉट इग्नोर दैट मिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी डिड रेफर टू अ वुमन हु वॉज डूइंग हर जॉब एज अ पचास करोड़ की गर्लफ्रेंड मिस्टर बाय द वे मिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी बॉस द आर एस एस विच रन दिस गवर्नमेंट लाइक अ पपेट मेड अ स्टेटमेंट मिस्टर मोहन भागवत मेड अ स्टेटमेंट दैट द वेमेन ऑफ इंडिया शुड बी हाउस वाइफ एंड द मेन शुड बी द ब्रेड विनर्स और दीज आर लार्जर आई थिंक देर आर सिम्टोमैटिक of an ideological mindset okay you're I making it seem as if it's a I'm larger issue let let sanju verma come in and respond party, there are people within any he, he's saying party. that this comes from the thought that the sang espouses i don't agree with that but let's listen to what sanjay has to say of being embedded in hate sanju sanju rahul this is not fair you know you can't make every debate of yours into a modi bashing platform and i will not allow sanjay jha to get away with his laundry list of wild tweets made bashing. against the prime it's minister and now he check. sits here it's and gives jaan on ethics on women's of liberty the prime minister of india on all that is you can't fool the country by slogans like beti bachao you can't fool the country by empty hollow rhetoric the people of india going to ask questions of you what action have you taken against vinay katyar what action did you take against giriraj singh who insulted the congress president mr sonia gandhi what action did you take when mr sonia gandhi the congress president was attacked by giriraj singh what action did you take you promoted him in the cabinet don't try and come here and try a political i can't allow this to go on You can't have both answers, guests speaking man. at the same First time. I want to go across to Karuna Nandi. No, this can't degenerate. I'm sorry. Then, this is the problem. You know, you ask a question of the BJP saying, "Why did you take no action against your misogynistic neta?" The BJP says, "Pehle Congress to bataye, usne apni misogynistic neta ke baare mein kya kiya?" This is like a farcical argument where everyone's in the gutter throwing mud at each other. Janak statements dete hai, unko zara jaake. Karuna Nandi. No Absolutely. wonder you have a. You know, I think it's really important that this conversation is happening because I think people watching might think that oh, but it's just a comment, and people make these comments in drawing rooms and in um, groups of friends all the time, which is true. The thing is that when there's a large audience, when it is on a political platform, and particularly when it's about another politician, these actually there are studies to show that these have real-world impact. when obama who himself is a great you know quite a feminist right made a comment about his colleague kamala harris who was then attorney general i think of california saying that not only is she brilliant but she's also the most beautiful of all attorney generals and um, sort of twitter erupted half saying where's the problem she is a friend and half saying but he's taking away from her credibility right um so the some of us looked at the evidence of what we the, the, the effect it has and the evidence is very interesting because it shows that whether you make a positive or a negative comment on a politician um in terms of her looks right and let us not forget that people are you know people talk about women politicians and saying she's ugly she's fat she's beautiful and all of the above can have an impact on her votes because it what it does is that it directs um attention to her looks rather than her competence a, this study also shows that you can shut it down by saying that which i think priyanka gandhi did very effectively actually she did a great job with that um and you can shut it down saying that look my looks are not relevant to this job and like kindly let's move on right um the thing though is that structurally you know we see we see the bjp and the congress fighting about this but of course we all know that this is these comments happen in the bjp congress leaders the most senior bjp leaders the prime minister vinay katyar was um, the general secretary of the bjp the bjp has not distanced itself right. mr venkaiya naidu has made a statement there there are various things uh, back and forth in the bjp in the congress also you know you had uh, various people making absolutely awful statements the other thing is what we would like to see is one of the like priyanka gandhi has suffered this you know she has a lot of influence in the congress how wonderful would it be if she said that the congress party in its various offices across the country is a workplace as defined under the prevention of sexual harassment act and as such it must have workshops it must have a anti sexual harassment committee you know with an independent um, person and that it also must sort of hand out remedies you know like putting someone through therapy oh, absolutely you know, why I should mean, women through, politicians you know, be subjected to any form of harassment when such comments are made karuna nandi makes a very dangerous. important point uh, sanju 
that when you refer to a woman by her appearance, in some senses you undermine the work she does as a professional. What she's doing as a neta is disregarded for the manner in which she appears, which is doing a disservice to any politician when you say that. Yeah, I think Rahul, that's a very nice point you've made because I think, you know, it's not just about women politicians. I've served in the corporate sector in the past and, you know, you are often used to hearing these remarks. Oh, she's someone who's, you know, got both beauty and brains. As if somebody who's good looking, you know, should be a bimbo. No, no, don't give me a moral sermon. Tell me, do you believe that action should be, should be taken against Vinay Katyar or you not? Know, Answer my question, Sanju. Exclusive. Don't respond in a generality. Are you prepared to say on this platform that so, you would like so the Rahul, BJP top leadership complete? to act against Vinay Katyar? Can respond to that complete? question. Can I please complete now, Rahul? You've asked me a very relevant question. Are you willing to take action against Rajiv Sardesai for saying that Priyanka Gandhi's politics is like that of an item girl? Are you willing to take action against your senior most anchor for being so misogynistic? Misogyny is not limited just to politicians or to corporate houses or to film I think stars. Rajdeep apologized. First, I can't speak for Rajdeep. No, well. one second. This is unfair. Rajdeep's not here. Me. One second. Before Rajdeep's not here, but I think Rajdeep apologized when he made that comment. He also said it was misquoted. Okay, you're a good lawyer. You pulled that out, but Rajdeep apologized. There's a difference. There's a difference. There's a difference. Rajdeep apologized. Be hypocritical. Okay. If you have to criticize, then make sure that you measure everybody on the same yardstick. You cannot have fake outrage on Vinay Katyar and say that Rajdeep Sardesai is holier than thou. I'm sorry, it doesn't work that no, way. No, I think, okay, first I can't speak for Rajdeep, but Rajdeep made the point when he apologized that he was referring to her infrequent appearances, how she'd come and go, not so much but to her appearance. But have you even raised okay. the issue? I, I think the point that Rajdeep clearly made was that it was about her coming and going, so it's a blink and miss appearance. But anyway, let Sanjay respond to, to that. Once again, Sanju, I can't say more. I can't say more for Rajdeep, right? That's that's unfair. I can't speak for Rajdeep. Yeah. He's already apologized for that comment. But I want Sanjay to respond because the point that Sanju makes is, it's not just Vinay Katyar, it's a deeper malaise. She's saying that many men are misogynistic. Why single out Vinay Katyar? Well, you know, I, I find myself being surprised to say, but on a larger issue, I think we'll all agree that, you know, this, uh, you know, our whole culture in a country in a great number of ways is not just in politics. I see it in corporate India. Glass ceiling is an issue and people still have a gender discrimination issue in, in a very sophisticated uh, cities of, of even like Mumbai. But I think to answer the question, because she made a political statement, I want to let Sanju Varma know the most repugnant and reprehensible example in front of us was when Giriraj Singh made an absolutely pathetic attempt to attack the Congress President, Mrs. Sonia Gandhi ji, and Mr. Modi gave him a promotion in the union cabinet. So I think these are brazen manifestations of the, the complete hollow, I would say, commitment to really doing something for women and for actually the entire gender, uh, I would say, discrimination challenge that India faces. So let's not just cut out this cosmetic lip service. I'll agree with you, Rahul, completely as a responsible spokesperson for my party. All political parties, maybe some to a lesser extent, some to a maybe a hard extent, are have been very responsible in the Karuna, past. you know, I, I, I don't think there can be any going away from the fact that it's not just Vinay Katyar. This is deeper. The male misogynistic mind is not restricted to one odd leader. The problem is deeper. Now, the question is, do you believe, especially these are people in the public eye, that the BJP must make an example, take some kind of action that this silence Almost pretending as if it didn't happen. Nobody from the party has spoken. Venkaiya Naidu is the IND minister. He's not one of the office bearers of the BJP at this time. Somebody ought to tell Vinay Katyar, pick up the phone, speak to him, send him a show call, suspend him, take some form of action. You can't just sit back and pretend it didn't happen. Karuna. I think that's precisely the point, Rahul, that it's not just about somebody saying that... Um, condemning the statement you know you have you know there are some people in the BJP that are more feminist than others who have said that this is not a good statement to make that's just not good enough that blows over that makes no difference um, and you know this 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 what I was saying about uh, anti-sexual harassment committees I think that is one way the other way I think is um, recognizing the fact that such statements have real life impacts, right? 
because if you see for instance because Vinay Katiyar is somebody who is one of I believe the founders of the Bajrang Dal right yes. he is somebody who was general secretary of the BJP yes he is somebody who has quite a lot of power in the party so there is there are ways in which you know for example even today let us also speak about Sharad Yadav because Sharad Yadav said something about Beti Ki Izzat and it's not like Vote Ki Izzat right um, the thing is, when you speak of honours and daughters, right? Uh, you honour and daughters, and you also the Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao campaign, for instance. Why is it Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao? What about those who, you know, don't only identify with their status as their father's daughters? You know, who also are citizens, right? I mean, I think these things have pervasive impact. Okay. Sharad Yadav, for example, in Parliament, when the stalking debate was going on, um, said, "Hum to ladkiyon ka picha karte the college mein." Ye to rozmarra ki baat hai, which means that um, as a result of that debate, Rahul what Karuna happened? Karuna Nandi seems That's to be straying away. You cannot do her uninterrupted time. Offense, right? This is not a so the problem is, debate. Sanju, Rahul please, if I may just continue. Karuna Nandi's right? loyalty is so a well-known. So the point is no. that we have to impact, right? Down, right? And particularly when people are in power, particularly when people are in government, you have these issues. Okay, that's so, a good point you make. Particularly when I people are in government and in power, when what they I say think. impacts society, action must be taken. You can't just say, Vankaya Naidu has condemned it. That condemnation doesn't mean anything. One of the office bearers of the BJP, those responsible for organizational matters, should pull up, reprimand, suspend, take action against Vinay Katyar. You said last time you'd answer my question, you did everything, but I'm coming back to you one last time, Sanju, in the hope that you will answer my question this time. No, Rahul, let me come back. You know, Karuna Nandi, you've given her enough time. She spoke about everything besides what you wanted, you know, her to speak about. And so you're doing the same thing. Her. And you're doing the same thing. I'm asking you, do you believe at the very least the BJP no, should take action thing, Rahul. against Vinay Katyar? Rahul, I'm not doing the same thing. Okay, ask me the question that you want me to answer. Okay, I will because ask I it the third time. Third time, Sanju, Sanju Varma, in the hope that I will be third time lucky, the that the third time sorry. you will respond to the question that I ask. So here it is. <laughs> Sanju Varma, I don't know what's funny because I don't see the humor. Okay. Here's my question, Sanju. Do you believe that at the very least the BJP top brass should take either. action against... If you don't listen to my question, even the third time you will not be able to answer it or you will choose not to. So here's my question again, Sanju, the fourth time this time. Do you believe the BJP top leadership should take serious, meaningful action against Vinay Katyar and not laugh this off as an aside? Okay, Rahul, so now I'm pointedly answering. What the top leadership should do is best left to them. As a spokesperson, you asked me, is this statement worth condemnation? And I categorically said yes. And now I'm not straying away from what you asked me. But since this is a panel discussion, Karuna Nandi has made ample number of points. But it's people like her who will stand up and who will applaud. You know, Kanhaiya of JNU, but they will have I'm nothing to say when he flashes at a woman. Premier. Have you ever held you're a debate a woman, about Kamlesh Narvana? You're a woman, Narvana, Varma. That woman who was up, flashed at by Kanhaiya. political did, game. Did Karuna Rise Nandi speak up women, against Varma. Kanhaiya then? She seems to be having her arguments against the Modi government. Did she ever speak up okay. for Kamlesh Narvana? Okay, final, final words. I'm out of time. We've got Shah Rukh Khan on the other side, so I need to wrap up. Yes, Karuna Nandi. Know this. I let her not come here and indulge in double speak and hypocrisy. Okay, uh, let, let's listen to Karuna's lying. response. Sanju has spoken. And what the allegations are being made. Let her say it on Twitter and I will answer it. Sanju Verma, let me guarantee you I will answer whatever allegation you're making. Now you may stop. Um, Ultimately, look, I think that this is something that is true across society, right? Um, there is talk in Nottingham, they've started talking about making misogyny a hate crime. Now, I think that. Look, there are different kinds of misogyny. I think there's sexual assault, there's sexual harassment, and I think they need to be dealt with proportionately. On the one hand, yes, the sexual harassment committees that I spoke of. On the other hand, also, I think penalties that are not jail time, for example, right, might be a proportionate response. Um, civil remedies. Of course, the point is that once you get the courts involved, in any case, the process becomes a punishment. It's a difficult thing. So I think immediately what political parties need to do, and perhaps Priyanka Gandhi can start.
you know, is set up these committees, hold these workshops, deal with the misogyny and make them, you know, and go a step further, make them equality committees, give women more tickets. We already know that more women are elected to parliament, 11% were elected to parliament, 7% were given tickets. This is the index of political party misogyny and let us change that. Okay, that's an important point and I let that be the last word on our showdown tonight that it's not just enough for Priyanka Gandhi Wadra to condemn what uh, Vinay Katyar has said. She must also, next time, and that may happen soon enough, when one of her own party leaders makes a sexist, misogynistic comment, stand up for women at that time. Not when she's attacked by the opposition, but when of her own uh, as well. And really, this your misogyny is as bad as my misogyny is no defense. If the BJP truly believes it's a party with a difference, they must act on characters like Vinay Katyar. Not look the other way, pretend that the day will be over, the TV channels will shift to another story, life will go on. You don't set an example in this fashion.